God in Christ, happy Monday to each and every one of you all. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. At this time, we will have these more solutions. I believe we want to bless the Lord on this beautiful Mother's Day. Father, you bless you all that heard. Bless the Lord.
Give us strength, 
God. Give us strength, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, you have your way in this service. You are an almighty God. Then we know that you want to be here in this temple, but also be in the temple where your people are residing. That, oh, Father God, that they would feel the full force of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen.
that song. Yes. That God is worthy. Worthy. And as we look back over our lives, and the scripture tells us that some trust their chariots, some their horses. But we remember the name of the Lord. Can you remember a time that God has brought you out? That he has blessed you. He has sustained you. Even right now, he is still sustaining us. Some have gone on in glory. But he is still here sustaining us. And for that, we ought to give him the praise. But I ought to give him the glory.
I stand before you to introduce our speaker. He's a good friend of mine. He's a husband to his lovely wife, Patricia Old. He's a family man. He is loved by his siblings who support him in everything that he does. He's been around in this church for a long time, practically raised in this church. He is a crying man. He is a dancing man. He does not mind praising the Lord. He does not mind showing his emotion, how he feel about the Lord. He is a man that's going to give it to you straight. He is not going to sugarcoat it. He is a man that's after God's own heart that has put it into, into him to give what does say the Lord on today. So we ask that each and every one of us just come to the table. Prepare to eat a meal from heaven. From what he said, this gospel bulldozer. He may not have his sight that he used to have, but that is the physical thing that God has given him. But guess what God has now given him? He has a better spiritual sight. He is in tune with the Lord. And he is going to give us what the Lord has given unto him. So after we have what they say, a choice of selection, the next voice that you will hear be that of my friend, my brother, my uncle, Elder Welton McKinley O. We'd like to dedicate this to all mothers, female mothers, those who are able to take care of their children and these children. We know that God has been the source of our strength. And we give a lot of praise. And all this morning, we give a lot of praise.
Williams. Sherwood Williams, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not yeah. Joe Williams, Sherwood Williams. He had four. He brought you. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, he brought me from a mighty, mighty long way. You know, I'm looking forward for my kidneys. Yeah. All right. I'm looking forward <coughs> for my eyesight. Yeah. And I'm looking forward for my new home.